Greetings everyone and welcome to a new first taste of the channel where today we're going to be checking out the absolutely gorgeous Vagante, a roguelite that has been around for a little while now and those of you on PC might actually even be familiar with it. So why are we first tasting it today? Well, whilst it has been available and released on the PC for a while, uh, including a, a very long uh, development phase, this game has very recently released on the Switch and so that's what we're going to be playing with today. So. Going into this video, a few things I want you to keep fresh in your mind is that I am familiar with the original game, so quite a lot of the game mechanics are going to be known to me, so that's not going to be a problem. However, I'm also familiar with how to play it on the PC. I'm going to be playing it on the Switch. I expect some hilariously silly deaths as a consequence of this. Please be gentle, because Vigante won't be. Don't trust the cute pixel art graphics. This game is actually quite difficult at times, so uh, with that in mind, let's jump in. Now, what kind of roguelite is this? As you can probably already tell just from the splash screen, it is a, a very platform-centric roguelite. Uh, so uh, probably in the same sort of vein as Spelunky, if you're familiar with that game, then a lot of the mechanics will already be familiar to you. But one of the things I really love about this game, one of the really, really uh, strong points for its charm is the the theming. I love the kind of D&D style theming that's going on. And uh, we'll start with that, with uh, choosing our class. We've got the knight, the mage, and the rogue. There is an extra class as well, but you have to unlock that through meta progression. Now, once you've selected your class, you know what, we'll go with mage. Uh, you can select what they're gonna look like. Let's go with a white mage this time. So there we go, we're gonna be going in uh, with a white mage. Now, over here, you can do a tutorial. I recommend you do, several times. If you're ever feeling uncomfortable with things, don't don't feel bad. Jump in there and do the tutorial. I'm not going to because uh, I am crazy mad. And uh, we're going to see just how much my familiarity with the original game gets me in tr trouble here. Hello, Bat. Also, hello, Slime. I saw that coming. Ha ha! Well done, Bat. You have uh, triggered the trap, which I was really not confident that I was going to be able to get uh, around without triggering. Now... Again, those of you who are used to games like Spelunky will be used to a lot of the things going on here. Uh, one thing I will say for anyone who isn't used to these kinds of roguelites is death will come swift and uh, uncompromising in this game. However, one of the things that I would actually say is a is a big plus for, for Vagante is it's a very honest game with its difficulty. It's not trying to trick you into things. If something is going to take you out, and it will if you're new to the game, once you've learned that thing, it's going to be relatively easy to avoid it. Um, and, uh oh, are we, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Every level, much like uh, games like Spelunky, we're trying to to uh, navigate our way down uh, along the level to try and uh, reach the exit point, and then we'll progress and go into another level and, and different mechanics might be present. Every level has a mini boss. It is completely optional. You can just bypass it and go for the exit. You don't have to fight the, the mini boss. I think the only one you have to is the end boss. That is a mini boss. This actually covers a point that I really wanted to touch on is that uh, Vagante is procedurally generated. And with many procedural games, uh, it, it, sometimes it can generate you a very nice, easy uh, game to play. And sometimes it'll generate you a kind of devilish one where you're going to have to fight a boss straight away while you're not uh, particularly comfortable with the controls yet. Uh, well, life for an avac, I guess. Over here, we've got a shop. Uh, there's generally a shop on most levels. Let's have a quick look at what you got. And like many games of uh, the ilk, don't mess with the shopkeeper. You can thief things. Those of you whose eyes sparkled when I mentioned there was a rogue class. Yes, you can use your rogue to be all stealthy and nick things off the shopkeeper. Do not expect any mercy as a consequence. And the shopkeeper, frankly, is, is nightmare and lunacy incarnate. It, you don't want to mess with that unless you do, because you're a mad fool. They probably are great riches. I have never managed to beat a fight with the shopkeeper. I have uh, occasionally tried to use uh, traps to mess with one, and indeed traps right like this one, pop. That would 1,000% have just unalived me. Uh, we're going to do that one as well, just so I don't have to worry about it. And then we're going to push these over there. I don't think we can really do much to do with the dragon. Hi! There we go. I need to get rid of it because it is going to be a problem for me otherwise. Now, this one is a fairly easy boss to handle. I'm actually quite pl pleased that it was the dragon, not the uh, Goblin King, because I actually have a little bit more trouble with the Goblin King. Also, there is a worm down in these mines. Yeah, the shopkeep, the best place for you to be is not where the dragon is right now. 
There we are. Now, again, I'm fairly familiar with the game, so uh, there's a... Uh, I say as I just get set on fire. Uh, so I'm going to be moving quite quickly through this area. Again, this is kind of a necessary thing for us right now. I just need to get you out of the way so I can be free to do other stuff. There we go, and try to hit you twice. That'll do, and I'll hide behind this rock. The dragon actually has another attack, and I think it was about to go for it, but ended up not getting it off. It can do a ground pound, which will mess you up a little bit, but uh, the, the mobs in this game are very, very enjoyable. Uh, there is a lot to them. It, it's not uh, a simple thing. That is a trap. That uh, Let's run over that and take you out. There we go. Uh, now, over here. That right there is spikes. Now, I can run past them easily enough. If I fall on them, I am straight up dead. There is no no coming back from where those spikes will send me. Uh, ooh, we've got two very interesting shrines here. Now, shrines, you can do various things. Uh, they're kind of like altars, uh, again, in games like Spelunky. Uh, once, once more. Oh, hello, chicken. Uh, hmm. Do I want to sacrifice you to one of the altars? I don't know. Hello, slime. Please do not be alive anymore. This is the scholar... Uh, did the chicken just land on the spikes? I, oh. Chicken, why did you do this? I needed you! Uh, you can hold on to a chicken, and much like Link, you will f uh, have uh, effectively a feather falling uh, effect. Or alternatively, you can use it at the end of a level. Uh, don't trust the walls either. Don't, basically, don't trust most things in this game. Uh, there's certain walls, and, and you'll get better at spying them as you get uh, more familiar with the game, lead to hidden areas. Uh, I don't know. No, with nothing else there. That was a, kind of a boring one. But yeah, again, this is part of the, the procedural generation. Sometimes you'll have very, very intricate, massive levels. And sometimes they'll be a little bit more simplistic. But this shrine, different shrines, this one's the Scholar. You can probably already guess what the Scholar Shrine wants. Uh, I do have one of the things that I could pop in there. And if you give enough things to a shrine that it wants, it will reward you. You can also break the shrines, and it will punish you. Uh, depending on the situation, it might you might want to do both the different types of shrines. But uh, we're going to leave the shrines well enough no alone for now. I may come back and uh, play around with the Scholar Shrine. It is actually uh, quite a good shrine. But as the mage, I have got a lot of use for spell books and scrolls, which is exactly what the shrine wants. So uh, grab that. We've got a little, little chest here and there. Um, uh, again, you will become quite a lot more familiar with the uh, the game's graphics, and that will help enormously. I'm going to do something very silly in a moment. Actually, you know what? I'll take you out up here. That's fine. Uh, ouch. I got K. I got stabbed. Now, I was con contemplating jumping in the water and using my electric attack to deal damage to everything in here all at once, including me. But uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have to do that, which is kind of nice. Uh, but it's one of the things I like about the game is that you can do that. You can... Uh, in fact, the environment is probably a more powerful weapon than anything you're going to be equipped with. Uh, this is a massive treasure chest. We picked up a key off the main boss that we were able to use down here. There are a, there's one other use of the key. Sometimes on the level there will be a locked door, uh, if I recall correctly, that you can use to, to uh, go to a much more difficult area. We would not have been using that here anyway. And uh, now that little uh, area down there with the torch, that is our exit point. And at this stage, I don't think there's actually much else left here for us to do, unless I really want to use uh, my scroll on the shrine. I don't think I do though. Oh, these gloves are already identified. Most of these things aren't. You can have cursed items. This has got a very, very strong like uh, traditional fantasy theme going with it. But the artisan thief gloves. Wall phasing. What? Some of the items in this are very, very interesting, and I love it. It's got a very strong RPG vibe in that regard. But one lightning resist, plus two defense, plus two dexterity is a you know, straight up good. Wall phasing. Oh! Okay, that's gonna get me killed, but it's so cool. Uh, whomp. Okay, yeah, I, I wonder what would happen if I phased back into existence whilst in a wall. I am fairly certain it would be nothing good. But that is amazing. I wonder if I can go down. No, I can only go sideways. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, I'm very happy with that. I think that's amazing. Okay, I can't do it while swimming. Okay, fair enough. There are limitations. Womp. And immediately I came back out of it. That is, a, that is absolutely fantastic. What a f fun item to get for a first taste. 
it has been a long while. I don't re recall all of the items that we might find. Uh, let's shimmy on down. But we've got a couple of other items to have a look at. Uh, let me go down there. Uh, let's have a quick gander. We've got a couple of potions. I'm not big on drinking stuff until I know what it does. Uh, apply to item. That's a very strong indication that this is going to be an identified scroll. So let's uh, let's click on this first. Uh, yeah, apply to item. Yes, there we are. The hallowed monster tooth plus one defense. Ah, oh, demonic familiar. Okay, so you also get familiars in this game. There are three, if I remember correctly. The demonic familiar is one of my favorites in that it just randomly shoots fireballs at enemies. The, my second favorite is a vengeful sword that kind of follows you around and tries to stabby stab anything that gets too close. My least favorite, which is an odd one for me because I usually like things that heal you, is a, a sunflower that just tries to heal you. But that one's amazing. As long as we've got this, we've got a, a tentacled creature. Uh, above our heads watching out for us. This is fantastic. I doubt I need the gloves I'm not even gonna identify them because it's unlikely. They're gonna be able to beat these uh, Spike but See that sounds amazing, but if I equip this <laughs> I'm going to equip it because I've got nothing else, but uh, The problem is now I'm gonna be able to find all kinds of equipment that has got such fantastic stats But I am going to be so reluctant to give up spike protection <sighs> And I've got one more scroll of Identify. Uh, let's go for one of the potions. Potion of Lightning Resistance increases your Lightning Res by one. Yes, I will absolutely use that. And on the topic of Lightning Res and skills, we've got skills. I've got two, in fact, starting off. But this one has charges, the Frost Nova. Uh, we also have uh, Ele um, Eleclants. Eleclants. There we are, probably Eleclants. Thrust with powerful photonic energies. Uh, you've got a couple of, of things down here that you can use to... Make swapping between spells a little bit easier if you're a, a, a big casting character, but I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. You can very, very quickly uh, swap between your melee, your ranged, and your spells, and you can have all three equipped, but uh, only one of any number of potential melee weapons you might have in your uh, inventory at the time. But here's my stats, mm, quite a lot of information in here. Uh, we'll actually cover this a little bit better when we uh, leave in just a moment, but uh, there we are. We've got actually two lightning resistors, which is quite nice, and we've got level ups. We're going to cover those in just a moment, because we're going to leave this level and this is basically what we're always aiming to get to if i'd had the chicken i would have been able to bring it with me and cooked it over this fireplace right here ah, this is basically your between area heal uh, it's also where you can save the game as well right there using that book but the biggest and most important thing is you get a level now You've got your basic stats, luck, intelligence, vitality, dexterity, and strength, which do pretty much exactly what you'd imagine they would in an RPG setting, and you can level these up, but you can actually look further into the area if you want to see uh, what other neat things come from them. Most of them have something very nice if you, if you dedicate enough points to them. But you also have class-specific skills. Now, we have alchemy, spellcaster, enchant, and rod. And again, I'm reasonably familiar with the character, and I always love enchant. So we're going to be grabbing a point in that one straight away. This also gives me an opportunity to show you one other thing. Right, so first, I'm going to charge up a spell, and this is my new ability. Enchant, there we are. I have now enchanted myself with my spell. I will actually read through that a little bit more for you, for those uh, of you who, who are too far away and too comfy on the couch or, or on on your, your seat to reach over and pause the video. Uh, enchanting bestows a spell's power onto the user by pressing interact during a fully concentrated spell cast. Now this is amazing because right now, uh, down here, I am now lightning enchanted. Lightning constantly arcs from your hands. This affects my my weapons. It doesn't always mean that I will electrify people when I smack them with anything other than, you know, an electricity spell, but it will occasionally happen. Uh, you can enchant all kinds of uh, status effects and elemental effects onto yourself. Right now we can only have one at a time, but later on you can start uh, adding more of them. Another one I could put on there now is Frost Nova if I particularly wanted to, and perhaps I do. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to hold down left and then this. Uh, we've got the ability to cycle through any number of spells that we have, uh, or range weapons, I don't have one right now, but also you can cycle through 
your melee weapons. You can be unarmed if you particularly want to. I don't recommend it. Not that a rod really is much more uh, than being unarmed, if I'm perfectly honest. Now, let's head on to the next area and see what it's going to deal with. Wow, a shot right away. Suspicious. But very well, let's have a look what you've got. Uh, you've got Sparkling Mercenary Greaves. Okay, Swim Like a Fish, maybe. Uh, peculiar Bludgeon. Spirit Emitter. Hmm. Very difficult to clean. Coated with poison, though. That's a possible one, but I don't have the cash right now. Uh, so let's uh, wander around. Hello there. Please don't be alive. You are an explodey. Uh, I would rather not deal with you. What? Oh, all right. That tells me what this mini boss is going to be. Uh, very well. Uh, run across here. Don't get crushed because I may be resistant to spikes. I am not in any way re resistant to. Uh, ouch. Uh, explosions or being crushed by a rock. Though explosions are a little bit less da damaging to me, shockingly. All right. Uh, well, let's go up this way. I don't want to test. My, my resistance to spikes, honestly. I, I'd rather just accept that I am and move on with my life. Eventually, it'll be tested whether I want it to or not. You'll notice that I'm not messing around with the little worms. This is another shrine. The shackles is a bit of an odd one. It's kind of a cursed shrine, in, in my opinion. Uh, ooh, no, uh, I refuse. I'm not going to try that. But I've got other places that I can go that I don't need to go there. Another red scroll, don't know where it is. Hello, bat. Please don't be alive anymore. But yeah, the current boss on this area, I love that. Okay, so, mobs are not immune to the traps. Again, the environment, oh no, no, demon eye, stop attacking the, the worms, babies. Oh my lord. But uh, yes, the, the mini boss on this level is a worm, and the way you summon it is by killing enough of its children. I recommend you don't. Right, uh, let's go down here carefully, because again, why risk it? Uh, now, this one's a bit of an interesting one. That that enemy already triggered this trap, but the second one has not been triggered. Oh, no, it has been. Ah. Well, that was silly of me, wasn't it? Ouch. You're making a fool out of me, game. Rude. Uh, okay. I honestly thought that hadn't been triggered. That trap hadn't been triggered, though. Uh, but no, no, uh, both of the traps had been triggered. Never mind. Uh, there's me trying to look all uh, like I know what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, chicken. Oh, why? Chicken. This is a bad play. It had been... Hmm. So I wasn't being a fool. Suspicious. Uh, game was just trying to make me look bad. Game succeeded. Uh, right, okay, so we've got a fairy over here. No, why? Oh, actually, no, the demon... Demon... Core is just trying... The demon core? Well, uh, was just trying to release the fairy. We're going to come back to you, fairy, because you're safer up there for now. The smith is a shrine that I would actually like to visit if I could find some more weapons to uh, sacrifice there. Hmm. Another scroll of identify. Okay, well I'm going to use that on you. Scroll of uncurse. Oh. Alright, well, equipping anything uh, certainly increases weapon reach. Don't don't care for that. But uh, equipping anything identifies it completely. So now I'm actually free because I've got an Uncurse Scroll. So I can just identify things by equipping them. I, I'm still not going to drink stuff, though, because that tends to have permanent effects. Uh, tankers will sometimes be frozen. Hmm. Not good enough to change up. <laughs> See, it begins. It begins. I So few things are going to be good enough for me to change. But I need weapons to bring the smith. Uh, we don't want to mess with you, Worm. We've not harmed your children. I swear it. Well, that's a lie. We do want to mess with you, but at the correct time. Uh, until then, your children are safe. Let me let me just not assume that I've got the spike. Oh, why? Demon Eye, you're going to get me in trouble. Uh, let's just assume that I, I don't have the spike protection equipped at any one time. I just... It's never a bad thing to be overcautious. Actually, there's loads of instances where that's a bad thing, but uh, in this case, it's not. Flame Pillar. Hmm. Also, let's equip the... Wow. Okay, angelic gem studded ring. Reflects project... Wow. Okay, that's that's a really nice one. Hello, worm mother. Um, I could I could learn the spell, sure. Let's learn that. And I could actually... Equip 
equip it already, but I think we'll, we won't. I'm going to stick with my lightning for now. Uh, I'm, I'm more familiar with that. And also, it's infinite, so I'm a big, big fan of things that don't... Oh, why? No, I shouldn't be trying to tangle with someone with a sword when I've got a... Oh, no, why? Please stop. You are going to get me killed. Uh, see, I was so happy to found a familiar, but now I'm seeing the problems with this. That was almost dangerous. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, chicken. Well, I can only rescue one of you, so... Oh, dear. And... No! Ha-ha! There we go. That will straight up kill me. Hello. Let's not mess with you. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, I am going to carefully lower myself down so I can collect that gold, because I am very greedy. Uh, anything more over here? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. What killed a wormling? Uh, damn it, one of the worms got killed by something. Uh, no. That is going to mess me up. Okay, I need. Ooh! I should have just run over it instead of jumping. Because I, of course, I jumped into the bloody thing as it was released. I probably could have gotten past it. Ah. Uh, well, you know, I had a wand of blink as well. At this point. This is a good time for us to uh, jump into another one. The 20-minute run on unfamiliar controls. I'm, You know what? I'm going to accept it as that's that's okay. We're level zero. That isn't saying low. It's saying level zero. This is your your pr progress uh, bar over here for uh, progression, which will unlock uh, meta, uh, like mutations and stuff for runs. Uh, so you can do challenge runs or just make certain runs easier. We've had one death as a mage, and we died to a boulder. Not the most glorious death. In fact, I would say perhaps inglorious. Mm. Okay, well, I'm, I like mages, but let's go ahead and jump in with a knight, shall we, instead? Um, mm. You look like a veteran, world-wise version of, of this kind of young, starry-eyed squire. I, I like that. We're going to go with the starry-eyed squire, though. And with that... Let's jump in. Now, this uh, character's going to have a very different uh, skill set and level up uh, par. In before I die very quickly. Uh, oh, fantastic. Uh, come on. This way, please. I'm not coming down to you. Thank you very much. Now that you've removed that, I can go up there and quickly grab all of this. Now, the, the problem with this character is going to be that its attack is fairly slow. And... So timing becomes absolutely essential. Nope. Taking out those traps in particular is going to be a little bit more troublesome with that. Uh, there we go. Let's zigzag all the way down. Hello, bandit. Hmm, got a shop over here. Let's not mess around with the shop. Oh, the light. This is actually not a bad shrine. You can ch exchange money, basically, for... Um, for healing. Are you going to be able to get up here? No? Okay, fine. I'll come down to you. You can uh, bounce on people's heads, by the way. Uh, that, which can be hilariously funny. If you've got the right equipment, it can actually do damage to them, but mostly it's just a way of you not taking damage uh, when, you, when you're bouncing around. Oh, we've already got a boomerang. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, uh, still, let's, let's equip it. And... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Boomerang, come back. Why have I got a boomerang that doesn't return? There we are. Oh, okay, so it goes goes above. That's going to be a little bit of a problem, but I'm sure we'll be able to work with it. Uh, okay, then. No. Come down here. No, again. And again, there we are. Now, one thing I will say about the knight's equipment, it's a lot more predictable. So much more predictable, in fact. Uh, one thing about the characters, though, is you don't need to follow the the kind of uh, stereotype for the character. You can make a tanky, uh, axe-wielding mage if you particularly want to. You won't be building to its strength, but you can do it. You are free to build your characters as you please. Uh, oh! Oh my lord, I'm all fingers and thumbs right now. Uh, right, let's go elsewhere so I don't kill myself. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we're fighting the Goblin King. You're going to be a problem. Uh, I think I'll grab you. Okay. I'm going to have to deal with your summonlings in a moment. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky one. Because the Goblin King is actually quite a good melee fighter. 
The way I would typically beat you in a fight is oh, is to take you out at range. Of course, it would help if I could actually attack in the direction I need to. Also, don't let it grab you when it does that. It's kind of annoying. Uh, okay. My boomerang is now stuck in a bunch of spikes. That's unfortunate for me. Come on then, you. Let's have a good clean brawl. Okay. That's uh, not happening, it seems. Aha! Please stop bouncing all around the place. Rude! Uh, let's get behind you. He's got a, a fairly typical moveset. Once you understand what uh, he's doing when he's telegraphing, it's generally easy enough to get past them. Uh, let's take you out there. Now, this is only the first of several biomes. There we are. That wasn't actually too, uh, as difficult as I always expected it to be. Uh, this is the first of several biomes, though, and you will get different uh, different bosses in each biome, as you might imagine. Oh, you triggered because of the debris from the chest. I, uh, Or rather, the barrel. I wasn't aware that that was a thing. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's head on up and see about the main chest. Which is no doubt over here. There we are. Okay, well, I'll grab a little bit of everything there. Thank you very much indeed. All right, let's have a look. One of them is not going to be... You, you're pretty much always guaranteed a, a high rarity item. At least one that is identified from a, a boss chest. All right, uh, Kingly Acolyte's Robes. Attackers will sometimes be burned. Plus one to all stats and some resistances. That's actually pretty amazing. Uh, I like that a lot. I liked it so much I jumped with joy. Uh, though we have got a couple of other things. We've got Flame Pillar there. I'm not really going to be going too heavy in... Uh, this one's a ply, so it's probably identified. There we are. Sparkling Kerchief. Vengeful Familiar. Haha! -ha! My second favorite familiar. There we go. Actually, this familiar with this character is going to be particularly good, because this one excels if you're a close combat uh, fighter. Um, let's find out what you are. Scroll of Magic Mapping. Well, I don't need to use that on this level. All right. Well, let's uh, head out. Now, as you can imagine, that little uh, sword there is going to be very pokey-pokey against enemies who get too close. Uh, let's go and uh, get a little bit of my health back. There we are. And while we're here, let's get our level up. Now, again, you've got the same stats, but we have a sword. Uh, slide backwards or forwards. While stabbing, hitting an enemy while sliding deals extra damage. Okay. Holy, take no damage from falling. Uh, swinging your weapon after damaging enemies manifests holy light. Stro uh, stored divine weapon charges give a bonus defense against elemental damage and negate fatal damage once per floor. Uh, you can have a look through all of this. You can get all kinds of things. Omni sla uh, stab. Hold down an attack while falling for a falling attack. Hold up and attack to do a weaker overhead slash and defense hold down to block physical attacks now that one is a very very nice one and then become immune to knockbacks when taking damage gain a recharging defensive shield correctly timed blocks will reflect attack damage and some attacks will be automatically blocked generally speaking i'm a big fan of the holy and the defense trees for the night uh let's head on deeper the familiar is going to be pretty amazing for us as well. Uh, okay, traps all over the place. Let's trigger that one. No? Okay. Whoop. We're too far away for it to be triggered. Nope. Uh, come this way. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hopeful that you would trigger the trap. But no. Familiar, you're not doing your job. Don't think I can't see you slacking off over there. Now, this shrine... Uh, uh, and it's on this level as well. Um, there is... Okay, now it's in the foreground. It is actively looking for someone to uh, stab you stab. But, uh... Yeah, the bloody. Look, you know what that shape is. You know what it means. And you can probably guess how it's used. You can use it on yourself for a, for a, a more honest exchange. You know, we're, we're, we're paying, paying for uh, boons with the currency of our life. Uh, alternatively, you know, the other thing you can do is you can have someone else pay with the currency of their life. Uh, and if you remember the last run, you'll know what we find on this floor. Yeah. Look. Don't, don't act like you don't know what's going to go on. I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but don't pretend that you, you, you aren't a little bit uh, bemused with the 
the possibility. Here's a door to a much harder area that we're not going to go and uh, investigate. Hi. Oh. You don't know how to uh, jump across stairs, it's it. Right, take him out, please. Thank you very much, Vengeful Familiar. I'm much happy. Right, we can't get up there. Some of the maps will actually generate with areas you can't get to. And <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Unless you have a uh, double jump or some ability to fly. Ooh, a woodsman's axe. Magic mapping and identify. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and read a magic mapping scroll. Let's not do all the hard. Let uh, let that do all the hard work. Uh, we're gonna find out about this. Glowing woodsman's axe minus two strength. Ooh. That's not good. Sadly. So it's two to five. This is one to seven. Slow attack speed. Let's let's have a have a look at it. We'll see. I'm gonna give it a try. Hello. My familiar is not gonna give me an opportunity to try it out, sadly. Oh, there we are. Tricky wall. Uh, we've got a piranha down. Oh, really? <laughs> Fantastic familiar. Thank you very much. That would have been a little bit of a tricky one for me to take out. Uh, because swimming and swinging an axe, not exactly easy. Mm, let's not disturb the slumbering dragon just yet. It's only a baby as well. Uh, hi. Okay, that's a bit of an awkward one. All right, come on up. Does a, de uh, a decent chunk of damage, but a slow swing is going to be make oh, our boop. Oh, wh why am I standing there getting set on fire? Seems very silly of me. Oh my lord, really? Familiar? That is rude. It's basically cheating, and I love it. Come over here, you. Uh oh, familiar? Do your thing. Now's your chance. Be awesome. Oh, okay, fine. No awesomeness allowed, apparently. There we go. Uh, hello. Person I'm probably not going to sacrifice. Uh, let's see. What have we got over here? We've got an Art Sands go uh, Knight's Court. Let's throw hard. Mm. Uh, I mean, the boomerang is funny, but I'm just not using it. <laughs> you could actually use it to great effect if you got throw hard. Um, spike protection, though. Bizarre Druid Cloak. Plus one luck as well. Hmm. That might be well worth us getting the gold to come back for, if indeed we can. Uh, Book of Magic Missile. Hmm. I don't know, there's uh, no darkness on this level for me to be firing missiles at, sadly. Uh, anything down here? No. All right. Uh, oh, hello. Can I? I can actually swing my axe down there. That's impressive, actually. Okay. Well, we needed to clear that one anyway, simply because we have to go there. How do we get to that side? I don't know. Hmm. Let's have a look. I mean, Magic Map has shown us quite a lot. Let's head over here. I'm pretty certain we're not going to go there because, frankly, we will die. It is. It will be stupidly hard for us. Stupidly hard. Uh... There's nothing back there. We know that. Let's head on down. Go. See, this is the thing I like about the Daplings. Is I know that secretly, whilst you acknowledge that it, it probably was, oh, that's kind of interesting. So you could basically sacrifice the person that you would normally protect. Uh, you're not. You're not hoping for it because you're good. I say with a small amount of doubt. Uh, oh, oops. My apologies, I didn't realize that we hadn't already been here. Uh, nothing in there, nope, nothing in there. Okay, well, we need to go and find ourselves the chest then. Where would this chest be? And I, <laughs> you can probably already tell, but uh, there is no small amount of shame, as I, com I, I, I confess that I've been killed by spikes more often when I've completely cleared the floor than when I've actually had enemies to worry about. It's usually been when I've just been hunting for something like a chest. That's the most frequent time that I've died to spikes. All right, we've got a dagger, I believe. Oh, no, a weird glass blade. No, no, it is a dagger. A plus one strength fairy magic. Hmm. Okay. 
interesting. We've also got a couple of items here. Let's, uh, oh, my bad. Uh, did I just drop it? I did. Uh, we want to read. Had to check my Joy-Con to see where he was. Uh, X, apply to item. We've got an artisan boar head, freezing aura. Yes. I approve. This dagger, though, it's got a significantly less range, but we lose the minus two on strength. In fact, we gain strength and intelligence as well. I don't think we can say no. But we've got significantly less reach now, which is sad. Oh well. Right, let's go and go and find our fairy friend. We're getting out of here, little fairy girl. You are not, in fact, going to be sacrificed. No, 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 no. That's just not what we're about. We're a knight, for goodness sake. How I'm walking down that tunnel whilst uh, also probably drowning, I don't know, though. All right, there we go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. You get a little bit of extra healing for, the f uh, for having rescued the fairy. Um... Uh, the chicken, much the same way, only it's less extra healing, and the, the chicken is a little bit worse for wear after, you know, interacting with the fire. I, I'm going to leave it up to your imagination what the chicken and the fire have to do with one another. Uh, but we've got an extra level up, so... Become immune to knockbacks when taking damage. Uh, very, very nice. You will have noticed that I, I barely blocked any physical damage because I'm a dumb. Um, could also increase my luck, though. Or vitality. Uh, or just plain strength. I think... Right, we're going to go with the defense. There we go. Uh, we'll just see how that goes. Right, time for us to march onwards to our next level. Right, Dark Caves 3. Uh, that was already triggered. Sometimes those... Oh, hello. Uh, let's not play with you, shall we? Also, that was very silly of you. Hello, worm. Please don't kill yourself on any spikes. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was pretty amazing. All right, I would like to very much just carefully navigate downwards, collect the gold. Right now, the worms aren't hostile in any way. Uh, so you don't actually, you know, th there's really no reason to kill them. Especially early on when the, uh, uh, before you're ready to, to deal with the boss. Now, I've got two bucks of flame pillar at this point. If we come across a Scholar Shrine, I may use it. Uh, I don't know if we will. Again, it's completely random. But if we do, it might well be worth it for us. Uh, do I have one more magic mapping? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and read that. If nothing else, this will show me where all of the false walls are, and it won't be just down to me working that out. I saw you there, explodey bug. Uh, nope. Let's go in this direction. All right, come to me. There we are. Generally speaking, bats are fairly easy kills. Uh, let's see. We've got a ring. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, I've got no easy way to get rid of a curse. And the curses with any equipable can really be a problem. Um, as you might imagine, and, and as is the case with most games that have curses, if you equip a curse thing, first of all, it's generally not, not a good piece of equipment. Um, though it's not always the worst either. Uh, but the, the big problem is that you can't easily unequip it. You have to get the curse lifted first. And right now, I'm just not about that. Hmm. Okay, scroll of identify. We've got two scrolls there. I've got another scroll here. I'm going to go for the scrolls. And the reason for that is if we uncover an uncursed scroll, we didn't, sadly. But uh, then effectively, for however many uncursed scrolls I've got, I can just equip things and then uncurse them to take them back off. But that hasn't really left us with any more information than I had before. Oh, <laughs> that would have killed me. Uh, that dropping on me from above would straight up have taken... Oh, okay, nope. Naughty, bad. No, don't kill the worm. Yes, that is a mimic. And yes, it has uh, a belly full of... Oh, damn it. I, I killed that worm. Right, okay, so we can afford a single worm kill now before... 
Ooh, flanged mace. Nice. Uh, before we get a uh, the uh, major worm waking up. I didn't even think you were going to reach me. Oh, there we are. We froze it, and it did, in fact, split into bits. Uh, such was uh, the frozenness of it. Okay. Well, generally speaking, I feel that fighting the worm is better done in a nice open area that it can get to. So, generally, the lowest level is uh, pretty pretty solid for that. Don't fight it near the, the uh, shop, though. In my opinion, that is a bad move. I don't know if the worm can hurt the shopkeeper, but I wouldn't want to find out. Is there something in the wall back there? No, it's just roots. That's fine then. Right, let's head back along here. I don't really know if there's much more for me to see. No, there isn't. Okay. This would be... Uh, well, the spikes would be a terrible place to, to do it. Okay, we've... Okay, no. Get down. Right. Worm is awake. We can do quite a lot of damage while it's under the ground. Okay, it did a bit of damage to me, but that's fine. Where are you coming up next? Okay, you're actually very... Oh, no, you straight up died. We did that much damage. Perfect. That was not a very good... Uh, <laughs> demonstration of what the worm can do. Uh, so it's got uh, a couple of different attack phases, and you may have noticed... Uh, with the bosses before, they do get faster about halfway through the fight, and they, they get a bit of a red tinge to them. And that's them entering their second form. I've not noticed them so far uh, have additional attacks. They just do all of their attacks faster. Uh, so it can make certain bosses very difficult to deal with. And others, it's really much ado about nothing. Uh, but that worm has a couple of uh, phases. One of the main attacks is to just spew poison at you. Uh, the other one is to, uh, it does damage as it's kind of burrowing through the earth. Now, let's have a look. What did we get? We got the Pale Dagger. Very fast attack, burning, plus two strength. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, the plus two strength is tempting, but... No. However, we are going to go over to the Smith Shrine and start sacrificing some of these weapons. Now, it would be great if we could find a couple of hammers, because that can give you some crazy good items. But we are going to sacrifice this. I'm not even going to check what it is. Pomp. We are also going to sacrifice this dagger. Now, you place a, a couple of weapons and items there. I, I think it is actually only weapons. Uh, then it will give you something interesting back. I, I can't unequip... Oh, actually, yes, I can. So, there we are. Now I can drop it. Uh, so, let's drop that. And this one as well. And I'll just... Oh, there we go. We've actually got something. There we go. A hammer. Perfect. Now, the interesting thing with hammers. If you can sacrifice a couple of hammers to it, so you'd have to have gotten hammers from the smith a couple of times, you will get a crazy powerful item. Uh, this is Envenomed. Unearthly Hammer. Uh, right, I want to drop this then. Let's go with that. Whomp. And... Mm, let me demonstrate. The hammer attack is pretty much the axe. I am going to get rid of this dagger as well. So let's unequip that and then drop it. There we go. Uh, now, we'll hold out hope for a potential... Uh, potential find of a scholar shrine. We'll see. All right, what have we got? The unnatural, gla uh, sorry, unnatural gladiator gloves. Wall phasing, minus two fire resist. Hmm. What gloves am I currently wearing? I'm not wearing any gloves. Well, again, I'm not sure what those are. So. I don't have scrolls of... Um, actually, I do have this scroll. There we go, scroll of uncursed. That means everything uh, would have been uncursed from there. Fantastic apprentice gloves. Subtly increased weapon reach. That actually feels better for me right now. Uh, we've also got these. We're currently wearing the, uh, the kingly acolyte robes. How can you be... Oh. Typical RPG color. 
If it's if it's purple, it's very good. Timing jumps allows for unlimited mid-air jumps. Plus two strength, plus one speed, plus one cold resist. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if that's better. Oh. It only uncurses things you're already wearing, not things that you got in your inventory. Damn it. Gold repellent. I'm going to be scooching the gold around the map. That is sad. Oh, well. Um, hmm. Honestly, I think this one's better. Now, two strength is fantastic, but that's plus one to everything. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. All right, we've got a cursed ring. That's, that's going to be a problem, but it's a problem we can deal with later. Uh, where is the way out? Uh, let's go and have a look. Uh, no, that was the way in. I'm a dummy. I feel bad, but at the same time... <laughs> my gold! Oh, that's going to be so annoying. Come back, gold! Bloody gold repellent ring. Though, that being said, gold repellent is probably one of the milder issues uh, that we could have been cursed with. So, all things said, it's actually not a bad ring. It did give us some some resistances, at least. It, it, it just it could have been so much better. Oh, well. All right, let's uh, head to the next area. Womp. Now then. Uh, let's have a look. Hello. Now, as you can probably already tell, we're transitioning to a new bio. Let's see what we can do. Uh, all right, now. Hello, spellbook. Book of Shockwave. No. I'm not even going to give you a chance. Oh. Nope. Thank you very much. My gold can fly! There we are. It is going to be a pain. Now. What I will do is equip this. Oh, no. What I'm going to do is remember to equip it also. There we are. I will... Additionally, remember to take my level. Uh, at this point, we can gain a recharging defensive shield, or I can go for maybe luck, but I'm thinking more for... No, I think we're going to go with uh, Holy. There we are. So, Angelic Wings. Uh, also... Let's go back to the Kingly Acolyte robes. Let's find out what's going on. There's a shop up there. If you're wondering what Angelic Wings does, by the way, it's uh, the lack of fall damage. Uh, right. I could get the evil-smelling steel sword. Does it smell evil or does it smell of evil? Bleed on attack. Maybe not. Magnificent Cestus, very fast attack speed, the spirit emitter. Uh, coated with poison, that's kind of nice, but honestly, this axe is already envenomed, so I don't... Uh, sorry, hammer uh, is already envenomed, so I don't really think I need it. Right, let's have a look. Is there anything more up here? There is a little bit of something interesting up there. If I really wanted to jump up, I'm actually... You know what? Being able to do a million jumps is starting to look significantly more interesting to me. Um, Alright, you know what? Fine. Let's go for that. Uh, also the Book of Shockwave. Now, launch an earth-trembling wave of destruction. It's going to be an interesting... Oh, dear me. And then... Ow, okay. You hit me harder than I hit you. Nope. I'm just going to keep poisoning you. There we go. Probably the gold is already long gone. Which is a bit of a shame. Yes, my gold is gone. In fact, having this <laughs> ability to just jump in the air is probably the only way I'm going to get gold from now on. Goodbye. Come on up here. Yes. That's right. Please. Thank you very much, Vengeful Spirit. No, come back, Gold. Don't think you can run away from me forever. Thank you. 
I am actually going to need that gold over here. Uh, Alright. Sure. Let's pay a little bit of gold. I would like very much to get more healing. There we are. And that's good enough. See, this, this build is very agility now. But this is not exactly the most agile character, as you can probably tell. Nope. I feel a little bit bad, like I'm killing the fairies' family. They're not fairies, but... Nope. Uh, nevertheless, I do still feel bad. Oh, the skull are fantastic. Okay. That was actually very lucky. Right, Book of Magic Missile. We're dropping you. Oh, um, into the Scholar Shrine. So, Flame Pillar. And Book of Magic Missile. There we are. Knowledge of True Power. We've got a Book of Lightning. It's basically, it gives you empowered spells. Uh, so let's go ahead and read that one. There we go. Summon the power of the storms upon your enemies. Now I can only imagine how good those would be if they were properly enchanted on a mage. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, we've got a compass. Do I trust you? Oh, yes I do, actually. Let's equip. Massive compass, plus one luck, unbounded sight. Very nice. Also, uncursed. Yeah. So now it's a gold collector. <laughs> the demonic incom incomplete ring. This is the exact opposite of what we had before. Fantastic, I approve. Um, still got some scrolls of recharge too. Did I never equip that? Wow. How dumb. What this entire run? Basically without equipping my gear. Let me up, please. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so, what happened there was ultra stupid of me. But, effectively, I tried to mid uh, double jump in the air. But I hadn't single jumped yet, so that wasn't going to work. Hi. Goodbye. Right, let's go and have a look what we got over here. If I find another spell book, I will go and pop that down to the shrine there. Hello. Scroll of Uncurse. Nope. Oh dear. Right. We have summoned uh, the boss. Uh oh. Ow! No. Plantera, go away. Okay. You can just spawn a bunch of. Oh no. Really mean the Plantera. Not today. Naughty. I'm just going to rail on you for a bit while you're there. That's right. You just keep dying. Oh, I'm taking way too much damage to, due to that poison. <sighs> right, come on. Not right now, thank you. Right, they're in the red phase now. Oh, they're going to try and find a place to launch all of their offspring, it seems. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, thank you very much. That was not... A terrible attack there, and no, its name isn't actually Prantera. Uh, right. That was not the worst engagement there for that boss, honestly. Now there was something up here, there we go. Thank you very much indeed, but there is a little bit of something hidden back there uh, that I would very much like to get to. How does one get to it, though? Hi! Yep. Head. Okay, have we got a bunch of new gear to equip? Uh, we've got uh, our Taurus Remnant Fire Jump. Ooh. Minus one in dexterity, plus one light resist, one intelligence, three defense. I think so, yes. Let's go ahead with that. That seems perfect to me. 
we've got another scroll of Uncurse. I could put on the rock head, see what that gives. Oh, freezing aura again, but plus one speed and plus luck. I lose the strength, but that's fine. Completely okay with that. Oh, I'm a dummy. I did equip it before. I'm still a dummy, though, because <laughs> I didn't realize that was what had happened. Uh, recharge, yeah, we don't need that. I could equip this just to find out. Kingly animal skin. Spike protection. But I really, really like being able to double jump, honestly. Attackers will sometimes be poisoned. Don't need that. I poison them because I am me. Uh, all right. Still have a bunch of potions. Now, I am being very cautious of potions because you can get potions that'll just straight up give you stats. And by the same token, if those potions are cursed, they'll straight up take your stats away, which is never good. Okay, well, let's move on to our next area. Why couldn't have this been the first run? Then I wouldn't be running out of time. Or already be over time. But you know how it goes. A little bit of healing there. Thank you very much. Goodbye, fairy. Now then. Hi. Nope. I will freeze and burn you if you'd let me. I mean, obviously you don't want to, but not a choice you get to make. Ah, there she is. Okay. Wait. Oh my lord. This is the most broken combination. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, but that is fantastic. Also, I'm going to accidentally cause all kinds of damage now, but oh, that's fantastic, truly. Right, let's have a look. Ring of Celtioc. See hidden enemies. Hmm. I would like that ring. Sadly, I lack the money for it, though. Oops, what am I doing? All right, time for us to start identifying some of these potions. Starting with you. Increases your cold resistance by one. I accept. Good enough for now. Right, let's continue on our way down. Nope. I can basically just burn you. Ah, fantastic. That doesn't look nice down there. Hi. Okay. How about not? Maybe. This is such a broken ability, it really is. What a fantastic combination we've happened upon. Nope. You just stay down there. Uh, infinite jumps and boots that create fire whenever you jump. So ridiculous. Let's see what we get here. Druid Cloak. No! I totally didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. But at the same time, kind of not a bad thing either. Oh dear. Sorry, chicken. It's not your time to be set on fire yet. Sad. Ouch, okay, you can still reach me. Bad times. Nope. Let's just keep you down there on fire forever. This is such a cheesy run. Uh, it was it was going it was such a normal run for a little while too. And then just became ultra cheese. Oh, that's right, those things are not um, boss summoning, I don't think. But never nevertheless, cheese run it has become, and cheese run we will Accept. Hi. Do you mind if I use my cheese tactics on you as well? Hopefully you don't. Because I don't intend to stop. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. You're getting angry. I'm not actually sure that you can do anything to hit me from there. Well, that will hit me, but... There we go. Again, most cheese. Oh, my lord. Thank you. I will accept this. We've got a book of fire. Uh, was that a book of fire shield? It was. Hmm. We'll see about that. Uh, 
mean, at this point, I can equip the census just to find out what I can do. Same with this glowing glass blade. Shocking. Still not as good as my hammer, really. Well, actually. I like the hammer swing more. Hi. Also, hi. Nope. You guys will kill me if I give you the chance. Right, what did we just pick up? Picked up a lot of good stuff. We got the Hallowed Shield Ring. I mean, it's gold collector as well. Plus two speed, plus two intelligence, plus one luck, plus two defense, plus one fire resist. Yes, I think we will. Uh, we've got the Druid Cloak. Let's pop that on. Hallowed Druid Cloak. Uh, it, we're probably not going to find until much later there's a potential maybe of finding some better gear than that very unlikely though if I'm honest at this stage very unlikely uh, yeah we're, we're not going to just quaff random potions again the consequences of getting a cursed potion are high enough and as expected fire doesn't really work so well in the water. Is there anything else we wanted to explore over here? No, I don't think so. Right, let's go back and grab our familiar. I'm maybe not going for the most uh, interesting runs. Like, we could have left through that doorway if I really wanted to. But there we are. Uh, that would probably have been an instant death. And whilst this episode is going to run over now because we're surprisingly doing fairly well, I would still rather give it my honest best attempt. There we go. You can go f join your friend. Also, thank you very much. Ah, good times. Right. And off we go. Oh, I should take my level. I keep forgetting. I need to take my level at another time. Nope. Okay, there we are. Now I can take my level. Uh, divine weapon. Swinging your weapon after damaging enemies. Manifests holy light. I think we're going to go for that one. That's a pretty solid one. Uh, we've got another point as well. Stored divine weapon charges give bonus defense against elemental damage. That might actually be useful. Um, we can get all the way up to holy. This is going to be a very... like uh, All the way through holy. This is going to be a... a going to have a potential of being a very long one. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, the, just the, the synergy of these two items, the forever jump boots plus the uh, burning jump, have made for the potential for us to get very far. Uh, whether this would allow us to have a chance of actually winning, I would say no. Uh, there, there's a lot more to go on with the final boss than this particular synergy would uh, allow for us, but... It will dramatically increase the chance of us getting to the final boss, yes. There we go, holy light. Uh, thank you. Let's go take you out if I could, please. And surprisingly, plants don't really like being set on fire. Nope. Nope. You can take out the the uh, arrows with a well timed attack as well which is quite a nice one if I was ever aware of that before I definitely had forgotten it nope nope come back here you right now just constantly setting things on fire is actually more damaging than my weapons uh, demonic familiar Give him my compass, though. This is better. All right. I accept. Oh dear. Yes. Do I need to? Oh, my inventory is full. 
Uh, sure, use the scroll of magic mapping. There we are. Okay, I need to start getting rid of junk. Uh, right, let's equip you, Tonk. Uh, scroll of identify on potions. Lowering lightning resist, so we're just going to drop that one straight away and not quaff it. Uh, Book of Fiery Shield. Uh, drop this Cestus as well. There we go. I have to unequip it first. Uh, we can drop this safely. I'm never going to put that back on. That is never going on either. Uh... Unlikely that this could possibly be better than what I've got. But I'm going to keep hold of it just for now, just in case. But... Let's have a look. Yeah, I, I think having the familiar is going to be well worth us, us having down here. Hello. Ow, 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 no, no. Drop. <laughs> I can jump while I'm inside them. That is broken. Because that's basically how they do damage. They grab hold of you and then they uh, gobble you up. So if I can jump whilst inside, then I can just keep doing damage internally. I'm sorry, chicken, but you're in an awful place. I'm not trying to kill you with collateral damage, I promise. Is it going to happen? It's fairly likely, yes. Uh, we've got a red elixir. There we go. Really? How rude. Fighting me from the water. Okay, there we go. Let's grab you, leaf ring. Okay, nope. Please and thanks, but no. Nope. I didn't actually mean to activate you, but here we are. Bullet hell, engage. Ah, poop. I relied too heavily on my double jumps. On the plus side, we've gotten a massive amount of progress there, so we're going to have unlocked a lot of things. So, one death is a night, one death to the Whisper Queen. We have reached progression level one, so we've uh, gained the background experience, background survivor. We've unlocked the class wildling for reaching progress level three. Also, alternate cave theme for killing cave bosses, and we've unlocked the background tinkerer, which means that future runs can be a little bit more interesting. But there we go. A full run with a bit of an unlock as well. So uh, let's have a look at what that all means. So... The experienced, you're older and more experienced than the average adventurer, but you've used up most of your beginner's luck. So you get minus three luck, but you'll gain a level right out the gate. Uh, you can have the surviving, you can have more, uh, sorry, you can have one of these active at the time. I thought you could have multiple for a moment, but uh, this one would give you, the survival will give you plus five bonfire healing, which is actually quite nice. Or Tinkerer, you've compensated for your bad leg by crafting something to help on your mobility. Item, Grappling Hook, minus one speed. Uh, is losing one speed good enough for the grappling hook? Uh, yes, it is in my opinion, but uh, we've also got the wildling class over here as well But um, sadly we don't have enough time to show that to you today I really do hope you've enjoyed this first taste though And if it looks like a game for you Then do be sure to check out the video description down below where you can find links on where to purchase this for Steam Obviously if you're purchasing this on the Switch then you can grab that uh, from the Nintendo Store. But that really is all that we've got time for today. As ever, leave a like if you liked and sub if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. But until then, do take care, everyone.